Hi, this is Shadow again. Welcome back. New tutorial. In this tutorial, today I am going to show you how to convert raster image to vector image in Photoshop. So, let's get started. At first, open your Photoshop software, then open your raster image. This is very low quality image and I am going to convert this image into vector at first go to image then image size and give the y of image dimension and resolution give 300 pixels and click on ok if your logo have different color to black so you need to suggest the color uh, at first select your magic control then select select your different color hold press shift key and adding this color now select this foreground color and and color picker take the low color it's the color picture code now click on add to swatches click the color name now click on ok here it's come choices color into libraries choices color um, come here so it's you can close you can you can find the choices color here choices and here last is choices color saved, saved color and you need to this color or temporary or uh, set to black select your foreground color black then alter hold press alter and backspace ctrl d for deselect now select the uh, background color select the background color white then click on ok now go to layer then new then set the uh, background from layer click on the background from layer and it set the background white now click on the background layer and convert to smart object it's converted the smart object now go to filter then blur then gaussian blur gaussian blur radius ok it's perfect now click on ok and then then from the adjustment layer go and select levels yeah it's this will play converted the high resolution image you can use levels or use curves okay i deleted the levels you can use curves and here send the curves it also smoothly converted the vector type image select the tool layer and and merge the tool layer or click on Control E for marks. Uh, go to go to select menu, then click on color range. Select the color range. Press Control Shift I for inverse selection, and and click the delete button for remove remove the white background. Now Control D for deselect. Now this time select the magic control and your logo again I will change to the logo sources color select the color and select paint bucket tool and easily click on the color to change the logo uh, logo orange color again it's recovered yes it's uh, really converted this image into vector I will export this image for illustrator vector type so 
on the control key and click on the layer selected the layer and now select any selection tool uh, select the rectangle marker tool uh, mouse right click and make for path tolerance 1 pixels then click on ok and now click on the right button on selection tool to direct selection then click on the right click on the logo now click on the vector mask it's converted to vector it's finally converted to vector now i am going to export this image go to file then export then export as select the file format png to svg then click on export all select the desktop and rename the file name now click on the save and now again for save eps file for illustrator um, go to file then save as then select the eps photoshop eps now click on the save click on ok you can save this image into png ok now you can see uh, i saved uh, the vector type image here is this is before image low quality raster image you can see and this is converted vector type image you can see the converted vector type image and this is the uh, eps file i saved saved for uh, illustrator or photoshop eps file double click double click on the eps file and it will be uh, automatically opened into illustrator now you can see the vector type converted vector type image it's really awesome you can save this image into png file from here go to file then export export as then png vector image okay you can see vector logo i hope you guys you like this tutorial and like my like the streets for converted raster into vector image so if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon and get notification for any updates see you next tutorial thank you for staying with me until full tutorial thank you guys Thank you.